class, I'm Dr. Scott Adamson. And in this video, we're gonna break down how to take the derivative of the inverse sine function. So the ultimate goal is to be able to say the derivative of inverse sine is, and here's how we're gonna do it. We're gonna use our implicit differentiation uh, ideas. Let's start with that arc sine function. Let's create y as a function of x the arc sine function. Now you may recall from your trigonometry that the arc sine function to be a function has to have a restricted domain. It can only live between negative pi over two and pi over two. If that's not making sense to you, watch a video about that to see why that's the case. But I wanna be mathematically precise here and include that restriction. Now if y equals the arc sine of x, then we can equivalently say x is equal to the sine of y. Y is the angle whose sine is x, or Y is the angle whose sine is x. These are just equivalent ways to say the same thing. Now in this format though, we can differentiate using our implicit differentiation. We're gonna differentiate with respect to x, because that's what we ultimately are doing up here is differentiating with respect to x. So the derivative of x with respect to x is one. The derivative of sine, is cosine. Now we'll have to use our implicit differentiation, our chain rule. The derivative of sine of y is cosine of y, but then we'll need to take the derivative of y. Now remember, y is the arc sine of x. If I knew how to take the derivative of the arc sine of x, the derivative of y, I wouldn't need this video. But since I don't, I'm going to say the derivative of y is just something. It's dy dx. Now, we want to know what dy dx is, so we will solve for dy dx. Let's divide both sides by cosine of y. So one over the cosine of y is equal to dy dx. Now notice, our dy dx is in terms of y, and that's kind of problematic. It's fine, but it's problematic in the sense of we would like to have our final answer be in terms of x. So remember up here, y is the arc sine of x. So we could say one over the cosine of y, the arc sine of x. So we could legitimately just stop right there and say dy dx is one over the cosine of the arc sine of x, but that's kind of a mouthful. We're gonna now take this thing and simplify it so we have a neater way to express the derivative of arc sine of x. And to do the simplification, we're gonna use a visual. We're gonna use a right triangle that has a particular angle theta because this says the angle whose sine is x. Let's suppose this is the angle whose sine is x. Now, sine is the ratio of this opposite side to the hypotenuse. And if that ratio was x, we could label this triangle as shown. The sine of theta is x over one or just x. So here's an angle whose sine is x. We want the cosine of that angle. Cosine is the ratio of this adjacent side to the hypotenuse. So let's go find that adjacent side. Since we have a right triangle, we can use the Pythagorean theorem. Let's, let's label this adjacent side. Let's label it A for adjacent side. Pythagorean theorem would dictate that this leg squared plus this leg squared is equal to this hypotenuse squared. So that adjacent side squared, algebraically speaking, is one squared or one minus x squared. And therefore, that adjacent side is the square root of 1 minus x squared. So the cosine of that angle theta is that adjacent side, the square root of 1 minus x squared, over 1, or just the square root of 1 minus x squared. So to simplify this thing, we'll come up here and just write our answer. The derivative of the arc sine of x is 1 over the cosine of the arc sine of x, and the cosine of that angle whose sine is x is this. So it's one over the square root of one minus x squared. Now, this is kind of an awesome result that the derivative of a trigonometric, an inverse trigonometric function 
produces a completely algebraic result. Now, thanks for joining us in this case, but click the next video. You're going to learn more about derivatives of inverse trig functions. And also, please click on the Advantage logo to subscribe to our channel. I'll see you in that next video.